Jesus in the garden here in the garden of our ministry center on Capitol Hill from the Gospel of St. Luke. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. Pat, would you lead us in prayer? Father, we come to you right now, and how many times do we face challenges just like that? Father, please remove this cup from me. But Lord, as we begin the stations here in the prayer garden, we cry out to you, not our will done, but your will done through us. And as we walk from here to the White House, we pray that God's will will be done in every legislative act, in every decision that's made. Superintend over the affairs of the nation and let each legislator say, thy will be done. In your holy name we pray. The arrest of Jesus from the Gospel of St. Matthew 26, verses 48 through 50. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, greetings rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, friend do what you came for. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. We'll have silent prayer now. On to the next station. third station, we're positioned here before the United States Supreme Court for the trial of Jesus before the priests and the teachers of the law. From Luke chapter 22, if you are the Messiah, they said, tell us. Jesus answered, if I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I asked you, you would not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God. They all asked, are you then the Son of God? He replied, You say that I am. Then they said, Why do we need any more testimony? We have heard it from his own lips. Let us pray. Holy God, we need no further testimony that Jesus is indeed the Messiah, the Savior of the world, and his sacrifice in his passion is more than proof for any of us. Lord, help us to fully appreciate the magnitude of suffering that our Lord went through and the disgraceful condemnation of the only Son of God. Now, Lord, help us as we contemplate your love expressed in the self-sacrifice of our Lord and our Savior. In his holy name we pray. Amen. Jesus is crucified. From the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 23. Two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him, along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. Let's pray. Holy God, we remember that moment when two men, each condemned alongside our Lord and Savior, one cried out for mercy and the other did not. Lord, we cry out for mercy to you. And we thank you for the assurance of sharing in paradise with you because of your act of self-giving in this sacrifice 
on the cross. Thank you for your mercy, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Of the cross, it is dark. Reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 27, verse 45. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. And for our meditation, we're going to have our dear brother Chris play Amazing Grace. <laughs> Thank you.